hello and welcome in this video we show you how to make a simple dash it's uh, very easy here i have a character that can move left and right if you want to know how to make it go watch my video in 2d movement so don't forget to like and subscribe and let's start with the video first in our uh, speed variable it was public let's make it a private and we create another variable and it ma let's make it public this time and call it base speed so this will hold the base speed of our character so every time we change the speed we go back to this base speed in the start function make our speed equal to the base speed and make sure to use the speed variable the private one in your movement function now go ahead and create the dash function it will be of type i enumerator because we want a timer on it and uh, then we need two other variables one make it a public float and call it dash power it will be the power of our dash or the speed of our dash and the second one is another public float and it will be dash time yeah, simply it is the time we want our character to dash and then go back to the dash function and make the speed multiply equal to dash power when we make like multiply equal simply we want to multiply this variable with another variable in our case we multiply the speed by the dash power and then type in yield return new wait for seconds and we wait for the dash time it is just a way to tell unity to wait for some seconds and then execute the next of the code and then we make our speed go back to the base speed so if we recap we multiply the speed by the dash speed and then we wait for some time and then the speed will be back to the original speed now all good and we can dash but we have a small problem that we can dash when we are already dashing to fix it let's go and create a boolean and call it is dashing this will hold simply if we are dashing let's make it false at the beginning and then at the start of dashing let's make is dashing to true so we are dashing and then at the end of the dash we're gonna make it to false so the dash is end so now we will be able to dash only when we are not dashing let's go to our update function and let's make a key for the dash in my case I choose left uh, left shift and then inside the if we will check if is dashing is false so if we are not dashing we call the dash and to call a coroutine we have to type start coroutine and we type the name of the coroutine in which case is dash so now we can dash and let's back to unity let's test it first let's uh, make our speed to like 500 or whatever you want and then the dash power is just we are multiplying this speed i will multiply it by 5 and the dash time i will try like 0.1 second make it very small so it will be a dash and your character will not teleport all the map and now if we move and press the left shift our speed will highly increase and it will feel like a dash and of course you can make some particles and some camera shake to make it feel better if you want to know how to make a simple camera shake you can check my video it will pop up in the screen right now this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial